Hi, my name is Kalmer, and if you've heard of Carbon 60 or C60 as it's also known, and are either taking it yourself or giving it to your animals, well, welcome aboard. So am I. I've been taking C60 for several months now and giving it to my eight year old dog, and I'm seeing some very interesting results. And during that time, I've done a lot of research on C60 that I'd really like to share with you to help you better understand and help you better do your research with yourself and with your animals so that you can get the most out of C60 for your life. So what I did was, was break it out into three video series where part one is understanding the riot study. That's this video. I think it's really important to understand this study because it is where this all began. This is the study that showed you can extend life using C60 if you're a rat. Very important point. And how do you translate that study to being human and being a horse or being a dog? Well, that's going to be kind of in part two where I talk about understanding dosages. The third part will be how to make your own C60 oil for those of you who are interested in doing it. A lot of people I know are actually making their own oil um, and they're getting really good results. So let's uh, start right away and just jump right into part one, understanding the rat study. The abstract of the study was simply this. They gave a bunch of rats C60. They lived a long time, longer than their peers who didn't take it, the end. If you're interested, I've actually put a link below where you can actually take a look at the actual scientific study um, that was published in 2012. The title of the study is The Prolongation of the Lifespan of Rats by Repeated Oral Administration of C60 Fullerene. And the, you can see right here the number of uh, scientists that were involved and the length of the report is 11 pages and a lot of scientific information about the specificity of dissecting livers and so forth. So if that's your thing, feel free to read that and it's all available to you. Otherwise, here we go. Number one, methodology. This is the really important part because if you're trying to do this and your dogs are trying to do this, uh, you might want to know exactly how um, they did it in the study. So number one was what was the purity of the C60 that was actually added to the oil that they gave to the rats? And in the study, it was 99.98%. So for any of you guys who have actually looked at SES research where they got the C60 oil, or C60 fullerenes, uh, you'll see that that is the highest level of purity that they provide. Uh, the type of oil was a virgin olive oil that they actually uh, procured directly from the manufacturer, directly the, from the farms um, that produced it in, in Tunisia which is very, very important. Uh, for anybody who knows, if you do any studies on olive oil, you'll find out that literally 90 plus percent of olive oil on the shelf everywhere you go and on Amazon is not really olive oil. It may be a blend of olive oil. It may not even be olive oil, but they've been in so many studies on olive oil and most of it's, I mean, literally the majority of it is not real. So they knew that. And of course they went directly to the source to get pure, real olive oil. The other thing was is how much olive, uh, C60 is in the oil, and that was 0.8 milligrams per milliliter. And then the dosage, what did they, how much did they give those rats? And the amount was stated in the study, they gave them 1.7 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. And how they did it was they gave it to them every single day for seven days, then weekly for two months, and then every two weeks thereafter until the end of the study. We're going to talk a lot more about dosages in part two. The results now. Well, the very first results of the study, which was the, the whole focus, by the way, of the study was to determine how much of C60 was, you know, how much C60 is toxic. And so that's what they set out to try to understand. They did not set out to try to prolong the life of rats. That was what happened be when they were trying to see how much C60 would kill the rats. And so the first thing they did was they looked at oxidative stress and they started giving all these rats C60. And how they did it was they took three groups of these special kind of rats called Wilstar rats, all males, and they broke them into three groups. The first group, group A, was given just water. That was their control group and they wanted just a group of just, you know, we're not going to mess with you guys and we'll see what happens. They have a second group that just took olive oil and a third group which was given C60 in the olive oil. What was interesting was the results were, and this is what happens with Will Star rats, was the median lifespan was 22 months. Uh, typically, uh, Will Star rats, according to research, will live about anywhere from 
you know, 24, 28, maybe up to, you know, 30 months. Uh, but typically the median was 22 months. And that's just n not messing with them. Now, the ones that just took pure olive oil, no, nothing else with that. They actually lived 18% longer. They, their average median lifespan was 26 months, which is amazing. And it actually explains the Mediterranean diet, if anyone knows about that. And so just heads up, if you're taking pure olive oil and eating that stuff, and you know that's extending your life right off the bat, or at least not, sorry, not extending your life, but helping you with your ox oxidative stress. Now, here's the kicker, which is the C60 in the olive oil. The median lifespan for those rats was 42 months, which was 90% longer than the control group. That was the most profound conclusion or result from this study was that, hey, you give these guys C60, they're going to live a lot longer, practically twice as long as the ones who don't get it. And that's what started everything about C60 today. Uh, most interesting is at 38 months, all of the rat A's rats were dead. The group A rats were all died off. But at that moment in time, at 38 months, all, all of the rats who took C60 were still alive, which is a huge, huge deal and why we're doing this. Now, when they looked at toxicity, which is interesting, is they poisoned these guys to see what, how much damage the poison would do to these three groups of rats. So they, they had a lot of rats, so they took some rats and they poisoned them. The rest they let live their lifespans. Um, and then they, the ones that got poisoned, um, the, the ones that were just on water, they got really, really sick. They showed all these different, you know, you know, the skin, and they got lethargic, and they, did, they were sick. Um, and so they got sick, they stayed sick, and at the 24-hour mark, they were sacrificed and dissected to see how bad they were, how bad was the damage to their livers, etc. Uh, now, the B, uh, group B that just got olive oil, they got sick, but they got all of the symptoms, all of the, uh, the behaviors that had changed from being healthy to sick. They had gotten fully back to normal in five hours, and same thing with the C60 group. Now, what happens is when they dissected these rats, they discovered that the ones, of course, that had just been on water, they opened them up, and you can see this in the study. They looked at their livers, and the ones that just had water, who got sick, stayed sick, their livers were, were, were severely damaged, uh, pale in color, didn't look good, definitely damaged. The olive oil ones were damaged, but not as severe. But the C60 ones, which is most amazing, had absolutely normal livers, completely unaffected by the toxins. And that was their con that is what led them to the conclusion that C60's ability to mitigate oxidative stress uh, toxins uh, in your liver was the reason or one of the believed reasons that it prolonged life with very important information. Now the other findings of the study that I wanted to share with you is that um, um, C60 is absorbed um, in the gastrointestinal tract and what's important about that was they gave it they gave the rats two different ways they they either give it to them directly into the bloodstream or they had them you know they put it in their mouth uh, the ones that they were uh, jabbing they had to stop because that was detrimental to their health so they they stopped doing that but they kept giving it to them orally and what happens when they measured them because they, the third study was the bioaccumulation study um, they discovered that the C60 basically is eliminated in the body in 97 hours so keep that in mind during dosaging okay 97 hours is when it finally flushes out of you and the whole idea is to load up maintain so that you always have some in your body otherwise it just flushes right out now c60 uh, is also active in a soluble form uh, in lipid droplets living inside cells as well as in fats. And what that means was is that C60, uh, like vitamin C, another anti a strong antioxidant, uh, is water soluble. So if you just take it, it's just going to go right through you. Um, but if you wrap a fat cell around it or you um, what they call liposomal, um, it, your body will recognize that as a fat molecule, as something it wants, and it will absorb that fat molecule with this little hidden package inside of C60. Um, and so uh, they, they found that's, that was how they were, that's why they put it in oil, and that's what worked. Uh, it, all, it also found out that C60 can freely cross the membrane barriers, uh, which is very important because it really, what, what that means was, is that they found out because of that ability, 
that C60 can go to places in the organism that other natural antioxidants do not go, which is a superior biodistribution of an antioxidant that no other antioxidant does. Another very interesting finding of the study. Also, too, when they dissected the olive oil and the C60 rats, um, what happened was, was they discovered that there was large deposits of fat due to the accumulation of the administered lipids and the oil that they'd gotten. So that's something to really keep in mind is that you're taking a lot of oil. You can't just take the powder. You have to take it in the oil for your body to absorb it. But if you're taking in all that oil, it's going to accumulate, um, and which is not good. It's not that good to have too much of that in your body. But here's the kicker. It actually states in the study that the normal... Well, I forgot how to pronounce this, parenchymal per, architecture <laughs> without any inflammation or fibrosis due to lipid accumulation. Hey, what's that mean? Well, hey, that means that even though you took all that, that, that oil in, well, you're also taking it in with C60. So the C60 kind of helped you out. And even though you got a bunch of oil in your body that's normally bad for you, the C60 was there to basically help out. So it didn't create any problems that would be normally attributed to oils which I thought was very interesting. Um, now, the last thing is that all of the, uh, all of the rats died from aging. So there's, uh, you know, nobody, nobody lived forever. But the thing was, was um, how, you know, as the rats grow old, they always have tumors. And this is a quote from uh, one of the scientists. But the ones that took C60, they didn't develop any tumors like the control rats. In other words, all the ones that took water had tumors. All the ones that took had olive oil eventually had some tumors and died. But when the C60 rats finally died off, and they dissected them, they didn't have any tumors in them. And keep that in mind. Okay, again, lastly, uh, there is a little piece in the introduction section that actually talks a little bit about C60 other studies. And I wanted to share this with you because some of the findings of people and critters that are taking the C60 uh, kind of attribute to this, which is that uh, they've been studying C60 since 1993 and its derivatives, and they've been finding out that it does different things uh, not other than just life extension. Um, and it's actually been found to help with a UV and radio protection, antiviral, antioxidant, which is what they found out, and anti-amyloid activities, whatever that means, immune stimulating and anti-tumor effects, which you just heard about, and hair growing, which is really amazing to me that it actually has been shown to improve hair growing if you see videos of Cliff High, and he takes a lot of it, and he's still bald as fuck. Anyway, so that concludes my research on C60. Um, thank you very much. Please stay tuned for... The part two, which we'll be talking about dosages, where um, I'm going to try to compare um, the study to how much you can really take and take and compare that to what's available in the market, uh, help you figure out the uh, amount that you probably should take if you want to replicate the study and the economics, all of it. So I'll be working on that over the next week or so, and I'll be getting that out to you. So thanks again, and I really uh, appreciate you stopping by. Aloha.